episode of the life in engineering series so today as the title says you guys are following me in my day as the chemical engineer so you guys just want to get ready this whole dress i can't show my full fit um i'm not sure about my look today but it doesn't matter i'm in engineering no one cares how they look this is actually a lot of effort but anyway, it's 6 a.m. right now. 6 a.m. You can see, I uh, no, can see. 6 a.m. And I'm headed to work. Work, I only officially have to be at work at 7, but because I'm so behind on so much of my work, I want to get to work early. And that's why I'm up at 6 a.m. Um, yeah, so, and I usually go to the gym in the mornings. Today's a Thursday. I usually go for a spinning class at 5 a.m. From Monday to Friday, I'm at the gym in the morning at 5 a.m. But because I just got a new tattoo and I'm not allowed to sweat, I kind of skipped the gym this week. But that's not the point. This video is focused on my day as an engineer. So this should be fine. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's just get into this vlog. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's the end of the day and I just need to vent and tell you guys what actually happened today, right? Because I know I can't film everything. Everything is very like secretive and confidential. So I can't film a lot of the time at work. And I try to kind of voice over and just come in and tell you guys what's actually happening, you know, throughout the day. So today, one thing about my job. Okay, let me start from the beginning for the people who haven't watched my previous life and engineering videos. I am a process engineer working in a petrol chemicals plant and i work in the technical support department meaning we support operations with troubleshooting with um optimization um we work on projects that are for optimizing the plant or cost saving and then there's also things like supporting shutdowns which includes inspections and you know going into equipment, looking at equipment, making sure that it's still meeting its design intent and stuff like that. But that makes my job very unpredictable because I can come into work thinking that I need to work on this project, more long-term projects, and then something comes up where I need to troubleshoot or I need to resolve. So today was one of those days which is so frustrating for me because I had a free day like I was like oh yay there's no meetings today I'm gonna get some work done because my long-term initiatives tasks are working or waiting for me sorry but then some meeting came up because 
another responsibility of mine is giving inputs like planned inputs so we plan for what we're going to make so we commit to a certain volume of products that we make specifically at my unit based on what we get into our unit basically our feed so every month i get planned feed volumes from the previous unit or from the planning team and then i need to use those values to calculate what we are going to produce given that feed and there's been it's really been getting on my nerves because <sighs> it's a long story it, it's this is the other stuff that's not necessarily engineering that you end up doing in this position so i got pulled into a meeting where they're like okay the values that you provided us are looking fishy okay the yields that you provided us are looking fishy so we need you to be in this meeting with all these big people senior managers and stuff so that if they ask any questions you are there to explain it which was nerve-wracking for me because i found out about the meeting like 15 minutes before the actual meeting so luckily they didn't ask anything because i was so nervous sitting in a meeting with all these big people but anyway it's also good networking i guess um yeah and honestly it's frustrating because this thing keeps coming up and it's taking up so much of my time and i'm so over it i want to work on other stuff i want to work on things that are more aligned with engineering but that's not how it is that's not how it is and honestly because of that i had a bad day i had a bad day because even after that meeting i had to do more of this planning stuff i hope what i'm saying is even making sense i'm i know i'm not great at explaining things but i also want to give you guys insights into what goes on as an engineer outside of engineering like typical engineering mass balances calcs you know all that stuff it's not all that let me tell you it's not all that and this year honestly has tested me when it comes to that because with all of this comes with dealing with people and dealing with conflict and you know managing those type of soft skills or rather gaining those type the, those soft skills or putting them into practice and honestly sometimes that's the hardest part for me like give me a calc to do whether i've seen it before or not i'm gonna figure it out because i mean i'm an engineer i'm sure all of us engineers we can figure a lot out but when it comes to dealing with people i've it's really been a steep learning curve for me this year but i don't know apparently it's supposed to make me strong <laughs> um, i'm trying to see it that way but i'm also struggling so yeah Ugh, i know i've been talking a lot but i think i would want to know this like if i was in uni preparing to come into the workspace i want to know is this is this what do what to expect and that's what i hope to give you guys through these vlogs and through me having this conversation right now anyway because of all that stuff that was going on today i didn't get to do a lot of what i really 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 need to get done so right now i'm gonna go home figure out what i'm gonna eat whatever because i didn't meal prep this week guys when i say it's a bad week it's a bad week so it means i'll probably get takeouts today um which i've kind of been doing all week and yeah i'm probably gonna sleep late trying to figure out how i'm gonna do something that's due tomorrow that i haven't started yeah <laughs> let me go guys let me go okay guys i'm home now um so i went to the spa and i got some sushi because i've really been into sushi lately it's not even the first time i'm eating sushi this week and a red bull because it's gonna be a long ass night and my camera battery is dying so i'm gonna charge it while i eat and then we get back into it we get back into it
Okay guys, I am still working and probably going to still be working. So I thought I'll just end this video here because I might forget to just end it completely if I don't do it now. Wish me luck guys. I hope you got something out of this video. Thank you for being here. See, I need to go. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know, do things, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!